Okay, number four. Number four is control your atmosphere. If you plan on having a successful natural birth, your environment means everything to the experience. You want to make sure that you have the right people in, in your room. You want to make sure that you have the right nurses and doctors in your room. It controls everything. The atmosphere is everything in your room. Um, if you want the lights dimmed, dim the lights. If you want, um, if you want calming music, um, for example, for me, I had aromatherapy music playing in the back room, and that in the background, and that really, 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 really helped with the the calming environment. Like it, it's really soothed me through that time because there were points where. I started to become irritable because I hadn't sleep. Um, I was in labor for 31 hours. So, and plus the hospital doesn't give you anything to eat. So you're tired, you're exhausted, and you're hungry. So the music really did help me focus. I wouldn't suggest music with lyrics, but if that's your cup of tea, then do whatever you like. Um, but I really do believe instrumental music really does help the brain. It really does help the brain to focus more whereas music with lyrics you're gonna probably be focusing more on what the person is saying and at that point you just need to focus on your body you need to live within that moment so I would suggest um, doing whatever is going to set the atmosphere for you whether it be dim lights um, having the room hot or having the room cold um, Candles, a lot of people like candles. Maybe it's your favorite scented candle. Whatever is going to set the atmosphere for your room, I would suggest doing that, whether it be a hospital birth or a home birth. Um, another thing, the people who are going to be in your room, um, they influence the atmosphere as well. So um, it really depends on you, and it really depends on how far dilated you are because you are a different person through each dilation. You may be happy and joking and laughing at four centimeters, and then when you get to seven centimeters, you're just like, don't say nothing. And um, that's common for a lot of women, because uh, I was that type of person. I was like, there was a point where I was never really like talkative. I, I did talk and I did speak, but I was concentrating more on my breathing. Um, and um, there were points where I was even laughing. There were points where I didn't even know I was in labor. Like I knew I was dilating and I could feel a little bit of pain, but then there were times where I just didn't know what was going on. I was laughing and joking and then four centimeters came around. No ma'am, mm -mm. I was a different person. I was a different person. I was like, um, yeah, there's not gonna be any joking or laughing around right now, no, not at all. So. I would say um, have the right people in that room because they mean everything. They really do influence the atmosphere. It is okay for you to tell people to stop talking. It's okay for you to tell people to leave, even if you wanted them in the room. It depends on you. You are in charge of your atmosphere. <clears throat> so set that room according to how you want it to go. Have the right people in that room. Have the right staff in that room. Let the nurses and the staff know that you don't want them coming back and forth in the room. I know that's irritating here, hearing the door close or the curtain uh, move around and all that. So I did make sure to let my staff know I don't want a lot of back and forth. And I really, guys, I had the best nurses ever. I prayed. I'm going to get to that next prayer. But, um, yeah.